Steve Cardinal was once a popular YouTuber that had over 5 million subscribers and has a total of 538 million views on his YouTube channel. He made people laugh with his chat roulette videos. By dressing up as a woman and characters from Disney movies, his rising fame got him to meet Miley Cyrus thanks to the huge success of the Wrecking Ball chat roulette video. That video gained over 171 million views, and he was invited as a featured content creator to many events like Playlist Live. He also got featured on YouTube Rewind 2014. It was interviewed many times due to his rising popularity. Despite achieving all that success, he is now a former show of himself only getting a few thousand views on his recent videos, losing subscribers with each upload, showing he has truly fallen off from being one of the top YouTubers of the internet. Steve Cardinal always had the passion to entertain people. He made videos with his friends for his student news class when they were in high school. The videos they made were played on the TVs throughout his high school hallways once a week. They named their film group All You Can Eat Productions, and Steve shared some of those videos on his YouTube channels. Steve Cardinal created his first channel called Dominator005 on August 13th, 2006, and posted videos of himself doing comedy skits in his bedroom. He also created a different YouTube channel named Dirt Humor. The main stars of that channel are himself and Billy Chester. They made a second channel called SB Dirt Humor, where they mainly posted behind the scene videos of making their sketches. They both got a viral video on his Dirt Humor channel called For MySpace Picture Comments back on January 2nd, 2009. That video gained over 1.9 million views. Steve Cardinal and Billy Chester abandoned both their YouTube channels in November 2009. Steve posted his first chat roulette video of him pranking random strangers on the internet. He pranked them by pretending he's a girl while wearing a bikini. That video doesn't exist on any of his channels anymore. It was re-uploaded on a few random YouTube channels. He got his big break by releasing a chat roulette video called Lady Gaga Telephone. That video got him over 3 million views. Back when G4 TV was a thing, the program called Attack of the Show featured his video, and Perez Hilton retweeted sharing that video. Even Jay Leno shared the video on his show. That video is now deleted on his Dominator 005 channel and re-uploaded on the Steve Cardinal YouTube channel. Thanks to his successful chat roulette videos, Steve would start to get recognized in public. He didn't like the fact he was being called Dominator 005 since that was his his YouTube username. He wanted people to know him for his actual name, so on February 8, 2009, he created the channel Steve Cardinal. Due to YouTube not allowing people to change usernames back then, he started off posting comedy sketches and vlogs with his friends while mixing the chat roulette videos on that channel. On November 6, 2010, he created another channel called Steve Cardinal 2, which would be changed to many different names throughout the years, and posted a video that same day called Peacock Chat Roulette Edition. He also eventually moved his vlog videos and would post behind the scenes footage of his main videos to that channel. He also created the YouTube channel Stefan iPhone, where he recorded random things with his iPhone. Steve eventually abandoned his Stefan iPhone channel, and to this day, renamed the YouTube channel to The Bearded Princess and removed all his videos on that channel. Steve posted his first public prank video on his main channel called Eminem, Love the Way You Lie featuring Rihanna, Apple Store version, on July 13th, 2010, where he would sing along to that song in public to get people to smile, laugh, and make their days better. That video was a success that got him over 3.9 million views. He posted another video on August 3rd, 2010 called Steve Does Warp Tour, where Steve would just randomly dance in public wearing pink short shorts and a fanny pack to make people laugh. He even got a few people to randomly dance along with him. That video was also a success that gained over 5.9 million views. Many people subscribe to his channel because they appreciated how much self-confidence he has to not take himself seriously in public and use it in a positive light to make people's days better. Steve posted a comedy sketch video called Dance Like No One's Watching and posted a video called Post This on Facebook to get people with Facebook accounts to share his video on people's Facebook walls. Steve made the trip back to his local mall to film a video and posted Steve Cardinal is not afraid. It's a video of him singing along with Eminem's song to random strangers while walking around the mall. He's singing along to the song Fireworks by Katy Perry at an Apple store and posted that video. He made another video on chat roulette, pretending he's a girl in a bikini. He also went to his local gym to play with the shake weight for his YouTube video. On February 5th, 2011, Steve Cardinal posted his iconic video called Songs in Real Life, where it's a comedy skit of a group of people lip-syncing parts of songs as they say their lines for the video. That became one of his most popular videos on YouTube that has over 65 million views. This video idea was so popular that many of his fans made their own versions of Songs in Real Life. He uploaded a video called Fireworks Speech, where Steve would share his speech using the song lyrics made by Katy Perry's song. To capitalize on the success of Songs in Real Life, he'll post Songs in Real Life 2 on March 8th, 2011, but is privated by Steve for unknown reasons. 
To take his content to the next level, he'll travel to New York City to dress up as Lady Gaga to sing along and perform to one of her songs. He posted that video called Lady Gaga Born This Way that has over 17 million views. He also traveled to Los Angeles to produce some videos. He first made a video called Aladdin in Real Life, where he dressed up as Aladdin and a fellow YouTuber Lauren dressed up as Jasmine. They both sang along to the song A Whole New World. He uploaded his second video called Steve Sexy and He Knows It, where he dances along to LMFAO's song. He posted his third video he made from LA called Girl in Bikini at the Beach. This video was mainly him going up to random people at the beach dressed as a girl while trying to get a reaction out of them. He also posts songs in real life 3 along with those videos. Steve Cardinal posted a chat roulette video called Call Me Maybe chat roulette version where he cross dresses as a woman, singing along to the song Sum by Carly Rae Jepsen. That video got taken down for a little bit because one of the people featured in that video filed a privacy complaint. Steve posted a video on his other YouTube channel talking about the incident. He expressed his frustration on why the person would want it taken down since he was only featured for a few seconds. He vented about how he's getting tired of putting all this effort into making these chat roulette videos only for them to get taken down due to copyright reasons or privacy complaints. He would repost the Call Me Maybe video on his second channel before getting that video restored on his main channel. After watching the music video made by the cheerleaders from the Miami Dolphins, Steve and his friends created a parody music video of Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen and posted it on his second channel. He also got chosen to participate in the Fiesta movement. The car company Ford provided him with a 2014 Ford Fiesta. They had him make videos of challenges, activities, and traveling vlogs, while Ford covered gas and car insurance expenses. On May 13th, 2013, Steve celebrated hitting 1 million subscribers on his Steve Cardinal YouTube channel. Steve posted a video called Songs of Real Life 4 on August 24th, 2013. The majority of the scenes took place in Los Angeles instead of his hometown in Michigan while featuring YouTubers like Brock Baker and Jack Films. Steve also moved from Michigan to Los Angeles. He competed as one of the contestants of Season 3 of Dance Showdown, where he would be paired up with a dance partner participating in different challenges and do dance performances for a chance to win $50,000. Aaron Hansen, who's known from Gang Grumps and Eagle Raptor, ended up winning the grand prize. Steve would also be invited to be back on the show for Season 4, but this time as being one of the judges for the dance performances. This video became Steve Cardinal's best performing video of his YouTube career on November 26, 2013. Steve posted a video called Wrecking Ball Chat Roulette version that has over 171 million views. That that video got over 21 million views in one day. It was put on the front page of YouTube, along with being put on the top 10 trending YouTube videos in that time frame. That video was shared all over different social media websites and even helped Miley Cyrus get the number one spot of the Billboard Hot 100, ending the nine-week streak of Royals by Lord holding that title. Miley Cyrus's management team reached out to Steve, thanking him for making their song more popular, and sent him a champagne bottle as a gift. Steve also got to meet Miley Cyrus and get a picture with her as well. He tweeted back on December 3rd, 2013 on how he hit 2 million subscribers the day before. On December 20th, 2013, he tweeted about hitting 3 million subscribers. To capitalize on the success of his Wrecking Ball Chat Roulette video, he posted another Chat Roulette video called All I Want For Christmas Is You Chat Roulette Version, where he would lip sync to Mariah Carey's song, and that video has over 26 million views. His rising popularity got him featured on YouTubers React, and he even got to do voiceover work with Captain Crunch to help produce an animated late night talk show interview. He also got an audition for a Willy Wonka commercial, but didn't get the part after bombing the audition. Red and Link and Shane Dawson were able to interview Steve for their podcast. With Steve's YouTube channel continuing to gain momentum, he shared that he hit 4 million subscribers on January 3rd, 2014. Steve produced a video called Raining Food, where he used the money made from that video and donated to the charity Action Against Hunger. On September 3rd, 2014, Steve hit 5 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. He posted a video on Christmas Day called The Little Mermaid in Real Life. He went around Disneyland singing and performing to the song Part of Your World by Jody Benson. He'll disappear in 2015 before posting on his main YouTube channel again in 2016. Steve would post a video called Lip Sync Conversation, a spin-off from the Songs of Real Life series. He was able to score a sponsorship with CamSurf and made a video of himself lip syncing to the song Me, Myself, and I. He made another chat roulette video of him dressing as Elsa from the movie Frozen and singing along with the song Let It Go, while making random strangers laugh for singing along. He posted the Let It Go chat roulette cover version on his Facebook page that got him over 20 million views. In 2017, he made a short skit with his friends dressing up as Deadpool and jam out to different songs. This video also symbolizes that he's moved back to Michigan from Los Angeles, California. Steve Cardinal's YouTube channel peaked close to 5.3 million subscribers. It would show signs of decline due to being inactive for several months. He decided to make a podcast called The Cardinal's Nest that lasted for four episodes. The first episode was mainly Steve and his friends talking about their love and pet peeves for watching a movie at the movie theater. Although some of his fans enjoyed the podcast, his other fans did not like the sudden change of his content and his YouTube channel suffered the consequences by losing 6,000 subscribers after the first episode. On the second episode of the podcast, 
Steve introduced his girlfriend Tia for the first time. As he continued to post more episodes of the podcast, his views gradually declined and his YouTube channel continued to lose subscribers. Steve posted his last podcast episode on May 10th, 2018. He would repost the Let It Go Chat Roulette cover version from his Facebook page to YouTube. On August 28th, 2018, Steve released Songs of Real Life 5 with the story based on his real life events around that time frame. The majority of the video had dubbing over the original voices due to trying to get a better sound quality and cover up the songs being played while people were saying their lines for the video. In 2019, Steve posted a video called FaceTime with Mona where he dressed up as Mona and FaceTimed his fans lip syncing to the song How Far I'll Go. He also started doing gameplay streams on his Facebook page almost every day for the next three years as his main source of income. The games he mainly livestreamed were Gears of War 4, Gears of War 5, and Call of Duty Warzone during that time frame. On January 26, 2020, Steve posted a video called Everything You Need to Know About Sons in Real Life, explaining the behind-the-scenes struggles he had with the series. He talked about how despite being his most popular video series, he wouldn't make any money off of them due to them automatically getting copyright claims due to him using copyright music. Wow, Steve, that must be some pretty juicy ad revenue to go make some more songs in real life videos with, am I right? No, you're wrong. He also talked about how some of his songs in real life videos would be blocked from different countries due to the copyright claims causing his viewership to go down. Despite those struggles, he mentions he still plans to make more songs in real life videos in the future. He'll post another Songs in Real Life spinoff video on February 5th, 2021, where he celebrates his 10 year anniversary of the release of the first episode. In that same year, he'll create a TikTok account under his name, mainly reposting clips of his old videos in an attempt to go viral again. He was able to find more success reposting his old YouTube videos on his Facebook page. He'll repost Songs in Real Life 5 without the dub voices before eventually releasing Songs in Real Life 6 one year later on April 21st, 2022. Steve Cardinal shared a video of him proposing to his girlfriend Tia while he was dressed up as Belle, and Tia dressed up as the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Will you marry me? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> She's that up. Yes! Oh my god! I don't want to laugh or cry right now! <laughs> Get it, Steve! Steve removed some of his content on the second YouTube channel, changed his original YouTube channel Dominator005 to Steve, leaving three videos on that YouTube channel while putting the majority of those videos on private. He'll continue to live stream on Facebook, either playing Gears of War 5 or Call of Duty Warzone, while posting a couple videos of him doing a short skit and making a video tribute for his dad on his YouTube channel. Steve also started doing hot tub live streams on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. He'll post a video called WAP, Omega and Patreon version, on October 14th, 2020. 22 on YouTube, but that video ended up getting age restricted, causing YouTube to not promote the video through its algorithm. Although that video only got over 52,000 views on YouTube, that same video he posted on Facebook ended up getting over 1.9 million views. On February 8th, 2023, Steve posted Sons of Real Life 7. About four days after posting his video, Steve posted Sons of Real Life 8, but it's just a Rickroll video trolling his viewers. He'll cross livestream with the platforms Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, naming his streaming series Steve in Real Life, mainly him just talking about what he's up to and answering questions his viewers had for him. He also shared on getting a new job working at a dispensary. He'll interact with his chat during the live streams before eventually ending some of his streams with him playing video games. This type of content caused declining viewership and him losing more subscribers. Steve Cardinal ended up making the marriage official with Tia on November 21st, 2023. On November 26th, 2023, Steve Cardinal posted a 10-hour version of his Wrecking Ball Chat Roulette video to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the original release date. That video gained over 15,000 views, but it still caused them to lose subscribers, despite having a mostly positive comment section talking about the nostalgic feeling from that video. At the time of making this video, he lost over 300,000 subscribers from his peak. Despite going through those challenges, Steve would still be active on and off his Facebook page and YouTube channel. He's been posting and talking more about his interest in cannabis and has scored a few sponsorships related to that along the way. Steve posted pictures from their trip of the yacht party on Facebook and pool party pictures on Instagram posted by his dispensary sponsors. He also ended up sharing photos of his fresh cut and eventually shared the photos of the wedding in January 2024, which took place in Las Vegas. Steve started streaming again that same month and has mentioned he's quit his job at the dispensary and plans to live more in the future. His most recent live streams are him confronting a guy trying to hack his Facebook page and going on Omade.tv dressed up as a woman. Although he's not a popular YouTuber anymore, he remains positive about his future endeavors and is high on life.